Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and vision, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true. Where all God's children dare to seek, to dream God's reign anew. Here the cross shall stand as a witness and as symbol of God's grace. Here as one we claim the faith of Jesus. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this. Let us build a house where love is found in water, wine, and weed. A banquet hall on holy ground where peace and justice reign. Here the cross is hung as witness. And a symbol of God's grace as we share in Christ the peace that frees us. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where hands will be. Beyond the wood and stone, to heal and strengthen, serve and teach, and live the word they've known. Hear the outcast and the stranger, bear the image of God's grace. Let us bring an end to fear and danger. All are welcome. All are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where all are free, where songs and visions heard, and loved and treasured, taught and claimed as words within the word. Built of tears and cries and laughter, prayers of faith and songs of grace. Let this house proclaim from floor to rafter. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Great joy to be with you here as we celebrate this fifth Sunday of Easter, but also we celebrate this weekend Mother's Day. And in a much different way, we celebrate Mother's Day, but our blessings, our prayers, and our hopes all go to our moms to wish them happiness, holiness, and good health. And to pray for those who have passed before us who enjoy God's eternal reward in heaven. We remember all our mothers today. As we gather as a community of faith in this different time, and as you join us from home, watching in your sacred place you have created at home, to take a time and a moment to connect with God, to connect with our prayers, connect with our community of faith, 
that we pause for a moment to call to mind our sins and to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the Spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task. Whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, 
also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Pars Parmenas, Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread and the number of disciples in Jerusalem greatly increased. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Right is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. 
They stumble by disobeying the word as it is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, we are open to all that you say, ready to listen and follow your are the truth and the life and the way. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me and will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our live stream mass tonight here at St. Norbert. Just a little update, you know, I, it, uh, there are um, missalettes available in the front of the church if you want to come by and pick one up to follow along in mass. We have a whole church full. We said I'd just let anyone throw them, throwing them away to maybe offer them to you. There's still two brand new boxes outside that have never been touched and no one's been in the church for 
two months. <laughs> so there's no virus on these uh, missilettes. So if you'd like to come by and pick one up. There's also bulletins in the front of the church um, as well. And also online. If you go online to read our bulletin, I have a, a message for you on there about some possibilities of reopening, but that's going to be still pretty far away. We're only in phase two, and we got to be in phase three, and somewhere along the way to even be considered to be opening up. And so each weekend, I will in the bulletin, I'm going to give you a little update about what the possibility and what it's looking like for us. So just a little bit of a FYI at the beginning of uh, my homily for you today. But as we gather, we hear in the gospel that Jesus says, do not be afraid. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In a moment of pandemic, in a crisis that we're in, it might be real hard. It might be really challenging not to be afraid. Many of us are afraid. We don't know what the future is. Maybe we've lost our job. Maybe we don't know where the next meal is going to come for our table. We're fearful of getting sick, or our loved ones getting sick, their moms getting sick. We're fearful these days because we don't know what the future holds. And that's honest. That's true. And that's very human. And nothing wrong with that. But where our hope comes in is our hope is beyond our earthly sense. For Jesus today says, you know, I am preparing a place for you in heaven, a dwelling place for you, that where I am going, you know the way. And isn't that the, the center of our faith? That we believe that Jesus came into this world so that we might have life and have life to the full. But Jesus came into this world also to free us from sin, to free us from the confines of our earthliness, of our humanness, and to say, You are not just human, but you're connected to the divine. And in that connection with the Father, for I am in Him and He is in me, that we dwell in you. And it's in that relationship, in that personal relationship we have with the risen Christ, that we're asked to have confidence and to have faith and to not be afraid. Not an easy thing to do. We're worried about each and every day. But to go beyond that and go, Lord, I have hope beyond what I, the knowledge in which I have. And I place that before you today. That's where we are not afraid. For we know that God is there. We know that God dwells in that moment. In our first reading today, we continue to hear the church growing, the church establishing itself, the church, you know, creating its, its systems and creating all, you know, building the church. You know, I, have, I thought about for a moment they're asking Deacon Rick to preach, preach because we know they are really calling of the deacons today in our gospel today, of calling to service to others. But we're all called to that. We're all called to be in service of each other. But we hear that building up of the church and calling them to do things they didn't believe that they would be capable of doing. And as we return to church in the weeks, hopefully weeks to come, it'll be a different church. It'll be a different gathering of people with social distancing, with less People involved. I mean, so we're really we're all called to step up. We're all called to step up and to be that new church. Where we're called to give of our time, to give of our talents, and to give of our treasure to say, Lord, your work must continue. 
and your work does continue. So it's that invitation as the apostles and the builders of the, of the, of the, of the first century church were called to step up in a new way. We're all going to be called up to step in a new way to make this work. To make our faith continue to, to grow and to help to invite others into that relationship with Jesus. On Friday, I did a school mass here at St. Norbert. Not with the kids. It was virtual, okay? Live streaming. And it was the same gospel. A little bit longer today, a little added part today about Jesus being the Father, being one. But that first part of the gospel about do not be afraid. Have faith in God and have faith also in me was the crux of that, of that gospel as well. And I challenge the kids. And I challenge you and all of us today to be a light to the world. To live our baptismal call. I brought a candle out on Friday. I'm going to do it right here. I got it here and here. You know what this is? It's a baptismal candle. For those who are parents, you know, you received one when your kids were baptized. And we lit it in the light of Christ shined at the moment of baptism. Lit from the grand, grand paschal candle which was blessed and consecrated and, and blessed on the Easter Vigil. And that light of Christ illuminates the entire church and invites us to live our baptismal call. So when we're at baptism, we're presented with a scandal. We don't give fire to babies, okay? We don't do that. But we present the candle to the newly baptized. And we say, receive the light of Christ. Do not let this light ever be extinguished, but let it burn brightly in your life. And may it lead you and guide you through this life to eternal life in heaven. When we celebrate a funeral liturgy, the Paschal candle is present as well. In the moment of baptism and in the moment of the funeral liturgy where we say, let that light continue to burn and guide you to that dwelling place in heaven where God has prepared a place for you. That is the promise. And that is truly the gift of our faith and where we are not afraid. Because God guides us constantly and illuminates our life and we look to that light of Christ to be our hope. So as we continue to shelter at home, as we continue to, to live stream to you to keep us connected as a community of faith, let that light continue to guide you, to strengthen you, and to give you hope today. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, together, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. By knowing Christ, we also know the Father whose love is endless and unfailing. Trusting in him, we now give voice to our need. For the church made of living stones, May we always be joined to Christ, our cornerstone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church fully live out its mission so that all people will come to know the Father's love through Christ Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are neglected, marginalized, or voiceless, may they find welcome acceptance and empowerment we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all mothers that their children will honor the many, their many sacrifices by lives of service and virtue let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that our compassionate father would touch all affected by the current outbreak with healing and peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick of our St. Norbert faith community, especially Jose Luis Garcia, Tom Gray, Leonardo Turan, Dale Ovinka, Amber Gray Bridges, Seraphin Ramirez, that Christ will comfort and heal them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially Martha Salazar, Tim Pfeiffer, Juan Bilote, Carlos Amposta, Sharon Despotel, and John Crawford, may they dwell forever in the Father's house, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of infinite love and mercy, we ask that you, we, ask, we thank you for the gift of faith. Listen to the petitions we present to you for those in need and grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we continue in our prayer for our diocese in this year of prayer. So I ask you to join me in praying the prayer for our diocese. O God, oh God, may, may every person within the Diocese of Orange come to personally know and love our Lord Jesus Christ. May they grow in maturity as, as, as missionary disciples of Christ, become actively engaged in the full life and mission of the Church, and joyfully use his or her gifts to share the good news and build up the kingdom of God for the salvation of souls through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We come to the moment of our offertory, and as we're becoming more and more familiar with and are con continuing live streams of our ways to donate and continue to offer your financial support to our community of faith, on your screen right now you'll see three ways of giving electronically. One is from our parish website. To click the donation basket, donate online, and to give electronically using your debit or credit card. You also may use the mobile app on your, on your a smartphone from Venco Services and give donated that way as well. You may also give by text message by texting your donation to 844-210-0944 and give, give electronically. And thank you for all those who have not figured out how to give electronically. Electronically, who, who come and drop it in the mail slot in our ministry center. Drop your, your envelope or mail it in. We've been receiving many of those from, from your community as well. And so 
If that's the only way you can figure out to do it, we appreciate your continued donation and generosity to continue our parish mission here. So if you've got to give your envelope and drop it by the parish, please do so. And through the mail slot in the ministry center, or you might mail it in as well. So thank you for your continued generosity and financial support of our community of faith. Where my Father lives, there is room for all. There is room for all. Where my Father lives, and the place for you will be waiting there. Come to me, I will bring you home. I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Where my Father lives, there is room for all. There is room for all. Where my Father lives, and the place for you will be waiting there. Come to me, I will bring you home. Have faith in God, have faith in me. Know wherever I am, you will also be. Where my Father lives, there is room for all. There is room for all. Where my Father lives, and a place for you will be waiting there. Come to me, I will bring you home. If you love me, and keep my commands I will not leave you orphans I will return where my father lives there is room for all there is room for all where my father lives and the place for you will be waiting there Come to me, I will bring you home. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this, in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly hosts, even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Norbert, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously, graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, 
in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your word, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your and spirit. With spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but always say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And prior to my reception of communion today, I pray with you a spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the captives free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink. Take and drink, this is my blood given up for you. I am the cornerstone that God has laid, a chosen stone and precious in his eyes. You are God's dwelling place on me, you rest. Like living stones, a temple for God's praise. Take and eat, take and drink. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the light that came into the world. I am the light that darkness cannot hide. I am the morning star that never sets. Lift up your face, in you my light will shine. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on this Mother's Day, on this Mother's Day, we have a special Mother's Day blessing, a virtual blessing. Mother's Day blessing for you today. So if you're at home and your mom's sitting right next to you, or uh, extend your hands a blessing over your mom. If she's far away in your mind, pray this prayer for her to extend that blessing of all the benefits and great and graciousness you wish to extend to her today. She's here on earth, or to the Lord in heaven, we ask for mom to bless our moms this day. 
loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers, that the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. And grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Join me in praying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, the Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness, wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the life we will follow. Every word, every deed that we do. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the life we will follow. Lead us, Lord, we will follow you in the hungry and the poor those so easy to ignore in the thirsty and the weak those who wander and in those who seek you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow every word every deed that we do you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow lead us lord we will follow you in the stranger on the street those forgotten whom we meet in the lonely far and near in the prison those who live in fear you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow every word every deed that we do you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow lead us lord we will follow you in the hopeless everywhere those in need someone to care in the suffering through the land those who long to touch god's healing hand you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow every word every deed that we do you're the way you're the truth you're the life we will follow lead us lord we will follow 